guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm doing a work day in my life. Today I'm going to LA to shoot some content in a studio. My hair is so wet, I let it air dry. It's just easier than wasting time doing it and I like the way it looks when it air dries. I'm gonna pack up my car. I'm running a touch late. I have to go pick up flowers at the grocery store. I also wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the platform that I use to build my website, siennamarabella.com, which I'll have linked down below and I will talk more about Squarespace later in the video. I will see you guys when I get to the studio. I made it to the studio. I'm in downtown LA. The lighting in downtown LA in these studios is amazing. I always book studios like on this block. There's like three studios that I like that are all on this block and like one is in this building besides this one. I actually forgot the hanging clothes that I was gonna shoot with. So now I just have bikinis and like loungewear to shoot with and I forgot the most important clothing. And I also have a brand deal with LaCroix and I needed to shoot here. And the perfect outfit is not here, but I'm gonna book a studio again in like a couple of weeks to get the rest of the content that I didn't get this time, but the vibes, they're just so good. I'm gonna go change and start shooting. Hi. So I have put together everything, kind of like the vibes and what I wanna do in a PowerPoint. This is kind of, not a PowerPoint, it's like a Canva presentation slide, but this is kind of how I stay on track uh, without being too like winging it. But granted, I forgot half of these clothes, so this isn't gonna all go to plan, but these are just kind of the vibes, the inspo, I have story inspo. Yeah, I just put it all, I make it on Canva and then I just save it to my computer so I don't need Wi-Fi even though there is Wi-Fi. And then bam, I just look at it and I know what I'm doing. I know what area I'm shooting in, the outfit. A new home for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hope. I'm like a good two thirds of the way done, but I feel very weird because I don't have outfits. I have like loungewear and like bikinis, and it's just, I feel very unprepared, even though I showed you guys the preparations that I had. Also, this camera, the iPhone 13, I hate the camera so much much. I don't know what it is when I have my other iPhone. The photos came out amazing last studio I went to, but this phone and this camera make me look just no it vibes. All the photos that I'm planning, they're not turning out right, but this is very realistic for like a work day for me because even if I'm like vlogging or I'm filming or I'm shooting photos or something, it's always like 50-50 that I don't like it and I'm very perfectionist with things and I feel like I just look or things don't come out the way my vision is and it makes me want to um, die. I'm feeling very self-conscious and also I don't know what it is but like they have cameras obviously to like security cameras for the um, studio in case you like break things. I don't know but it makes me very self-conscious. Like I feel like I'm posing in the streets of LA even though I'm like alone by myself in a studio I feel like people are watching me. I know they're not. They could be. Also I always think in my everyday life that there's always a camera. Like someone's always watching me. Is that normal? Is that a mental illness? I don't know. I have an hour left. Uh, I'm gonna get like kind of real content maybe, like just kind of clips and footage of outfits and stuff so that I have stuff to do because I wanna transition to doing more reels on Instagram because I do like making videos more than I like taking photos. So if I could do like outfit of the days video style, like in a reel, I feel like that's just my vibe more. Yeah, so yeah. I got Chick-fil-A, okay? Let's not talk about it. You guys remember last week, I wanted it so bad. I would die for Chick-fil-A. I now limit myself to once a month, so this is my monthly Chick-fil-A. I feel like I deserve it for being alive today. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna watch um, something. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling Sex in the City today. I'm watching Sex in the City and I'm going to book my second studio shoot because I didn't have the outfits for this one. So I'm gonna book this studio. I'll insert photos of the studio that I'm booking, but I'm also going to just go through and edit some reels and then edit some content that I have to send to LaCroix. For now, I'm just gonna be on my computer watching Sex in the City on my phone doing like computer work stuff. I haven't 
haven't planned my Instagram photos in like a billion years because I really don't post except for stories. I placed out some of the studio photos. I took those like a million billion years ago. Just kidding, I took them like months ago. These are some of the photos that I took. Um, and then I'm gonna space them out with like reels and photos at home, photos of the beach, kind of space out the vibes. And then I have that studio shoot I booked for the end of the month, I think June 22nd. <laughs> Day. Um, this has just become a just a, a regular random two-day vlog. So I made my breakfast, having my morning beverages. I don't know, now I'm starting to eat before I work out. If anyone's a fitness queen in the comments, could you let me know, like, is it better to eat before a workout or is it better to eat after workout? I think it's better to eat after workout because like you're replenishing what you lost, does that make sense? I don't know. I actually woke up at six this morning. It's been a minute. Normally I wake up at seven. I've been trying to get back on the 6 a.m. thing. We are back on track, besties. We're getting back on track. Anyway, I'm gonna go work out, but I wanted to take a quick second to talk about Squarespace. So Squarespace is the platform that I use to build my website, siennamarbella.com. Squarespace is the easiest platform to build your own website and brand because everything is drag and drop and it's super customizable. You can make it look However you want, you have been wanting to make a website and you are like, I don't know how to do that and I don't wanna outsource Squarespace, my queen. So let's jump into my website really quickly so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Right now we're inside the dashboard for SiennaMarabella.com, which is the website that I'm rebranding. It is my main website and I'm just showing you how easy it is to add sections and customize your website. What makes Squarespace so easy to use is that you can choose from all of these templates. So if you don't really know where to start, but you want to make a contact page, a newsletter, you want to list products for your store, they have all of these templates that you can choose from and then you can build upon them and customize them to your liking. It's very easy. It's great for beginners or people that just want to make their lives a little bit easier. I think Squarespace is the best. Another great feature of Squarespace is you can add a blog. You can add an e-commerce site. There's so many different variations that you could put on your website. It's easy to create a one-stop shop website where you can create a blog, a store, and you can really showcase all sides to your business through one website. If you guys want to try out Squarespace for yourself, you can head over there to squarespace.com, get a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Sienna Marabella, and that'll get you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, also, I wanted to do a quick little Amazon bikini haul since I did pick up these bikinis from Amazon, and then I made a reel at that studio of, like, Amazon bikinis that I picked up. So I just wanted to show you the ones that I got. So I really love the triangle top. I can't help it. Like they just look the best. These are the only two that aren't triangle top. But anyway, Amazon bikinis are very hit or miss. So I picked up, I think like 10 bikinis and then I returned five of them because they were just not it. But these are the ones that are hits, okay? They made it, they made it through the rounds. They look good. These are vibes. We love me scouring Amazon for good bikinis and letting you guys know which ones are good. The first one that I got is this little cow print triangle bikini. I love triangle bikinis. like string triangle bikinis they just make your boobs look so good like it's giving boob job okay it's giving boob job and then i got this black triangle tie string bikini but it's got like a little not latex what is the word leather it's got a leather vibe to it and then this one this is a non-triangle bikini can you believe it it came with a little sarong tie wrap thing and then these are the bottoms and then the top ties all cute and whatever i don't know i never wear bathing suits like this but this one was so cute and i think it looks really good on this one is probably my favorite because it's just like it's summer look at her she's summer these are my favorite colors it looks so cute it's a triangle tie string bikini this one is the cutest one i love it so much if you're gonna get any bikini from this um get the one that you like actually because it's subjective but this is my favorite and then the last one the top is like a little i don't know you'll see it in the little clip thing but that's the top and then it has little bottoms and then it comes with 
a little sachet sarong tie thing. Those are the bathing suits that I picked up and these are the ones that are actually good quality and I like them, they look good, they feel good, they don't come off. And then I have other ones that I'm returning so I'm not even gonna bother showing them but that's my little Amazon swimwear haul. Hi, I'm wearing my Harry Styles Love on Tour hoodie. Um, can you believe the place where they sell Harry's merch? They reached out to me and they were like, do you want some Harry Styles merch? And I was like, yeah. Get off my bed, come on, off the bed, come on. Oshtamau, Katarina, oshtamau. Why is that in my head? Okay, um, big shocker, I hate this vlog. I just feel like when there's no flow, when there's no storyline, it's just, it makes me so angry. Like I had this whole plan to do a whole day of my life work related. So like filming my Sims video, doing the studio shoot, I wanted to show you how I even get ready for that studio shoot, but then I was rushing in the morning and I didn't film anything and I thought that I looked ugly. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like it just didn't flow how I wanted it to flow. So I continued the vlog into today but then it's just making it even more of a chaotic mess. Thought I would do a mini little life update section here because I wanted to do like a personal q and I had you guys ask me questions on Instagram, but I wanted to do that like a whole sit down coffee talk type video, but I wanted to just get this vlog out of the way and then we can start fresh with weekly vlogs before we even do anything. So I thought let's do a mini life update in this video and then I'll do like an in-depth answering those questions in a whole little sit down chatty cozy coffee talk video because we haven't done a sit down video in like so long. I might do that for my next video. Sims I know is taking forever. Please don't say anything. I am procrastinating it because a lot of you people say that I'm funny when I film those videos. You compliment my commentary and I, that's great. But then before I film it, while I'm filming it, I'm not thinking, I'm just like speaking. I'm being myself. I'm like no filter, just whatever. But the leading up to it, I'm like, oh my God, if I'm not funny in this, like this video is gonna suck. Or I'm like, what if I'm not feeling like my most personality, like my personality's not here today. So like I procrastinate Sims videos like a mother effer because there's like this pressure on it that I want it to be actually shut up. I want everything that I do to be perfect. So that's not even, it's not just the Sims, it's this vlog, it's everything. If you're a perfectionist, let's just, let's vent a little in the comments. Let's talk about it because I need to like talk about it because perfectionism is so difficult to deal with. I mean, like it sounds so stupid. It sounds very stupid, but it's like a plague, bitch. Like I can't stop wanting to throw away everything I do and procrastinating because I want everything to actually look good and everything is important to me so I want everything to be its best. So moral of the story, Sims are coming back obviously. I'm never stopping Sims. There might be a little break in between but Sims will always be back. The series is not ending. I love playing Sims. I will never stop. So Sims is coming back. I'm planning to do it on Thursdays so you're seeing this I don't know what day but then Sims is gonna come out the, the Thursday after you see this video. But let's update you on my life a little bit. The first and main thing that I wanted to update you guys on is that I'm going back to college. You guys remember, if you're following me, I went to university for three semesters, I think, three semesters to get my general ed. And then I stopped doing that personal reasons. And then I never registered again for classes. And then it's been a minute. And then I decided, you know what? Like I really want to learn what's a degree that's gonna actually benefit me in life. I can learn a lot from and I can do it as like, because I like to learn. Like I wanted an English degree because I love reading and I love writing essays. The knowledge that I'm gonna gain from that is not beneficial to my career. And even though I say college isn't for a career, I still would like to have like some knowledge under my belt that's gonna help me in the world. Hence why I decided to get a business degree. You guys know how I love to learn and in my free time I do like an hour of Skillshare, but I never force myself to learn finance or business or anything like that. I'm very interested in it, real estate, business, finance, all of that. But without structure, I feel like I will never dedicate the time to learn it. And I really wanna be a business bitch, you know what I'm saying? Like I really wanna learn about that stuff, but I feel like I would never have the discipline to do it unless I was getting a degree in it. This is the vibe right now. I'm doing it part-time though still because I just cannot do full-time school and this job because I know myself, I'm not one of those people that's like, I can do this, 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 and this and have like, 
15 hour days. I can't do that. And I'm so privileged that I don't have to do that. The degree itself is like a nice reward after it. You know, I'm putting in all this time. That's great, but I'm not rushing to get my degree. So it's not a big deal, but I do feel a little self-conscious about it because I feel like people are gonna be like, oh my God, you're still in school, 30 years old. You're still in school? So it's kind of like making me self-conscious that I have to be in for so long, but you know what? That's just the best thing for me. I need to do it part-time in order to give it my full focus and give work my full focus. This semester though, I signed up for two classes. I'm doing one of my general ed, which is um, physical anthropology. I'm so excited about that. Is partially from a major, but also counts towards my general ed and that is business law. So I'm very excited about that. You guys know I took criminal law in my first semester of college and was amazing. We're gonna do study with me videos again. That was so fun. Like I cannot wait to do school related stuff again because I just love, I love the structure that going to college gives me. It's gonna add flavor to the vlogs, besties. That was like the major life update that I could think of that I wanted to talk about, but I do have a lot of questions from you guys on Instagram. So we'll get into like everything in the Coffee Talk Q&A video, but I just want to give you a little teaser of like what's currently going on. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog. Please leave video requests down below because I have a ton of things that I want to do. Weekly vlogs, you already know, Sims videos. But if you have any videos that are just not vlogs and not Sims that you kind of want to see me do or things you want me to talk about maybe incorporate in the vlogs anything you want to see from me let me know because I plan videos all the time and um, it's a one woman show here I need your feedback you know so comment below what you want to see from me I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye <laughs>